What's up, YouTube? It's Mark here from Next Level Tech and Android TV Tips. Um, so today uh, it's a really quick fix that I'm going to show you guys. Some people have been saying they've been having issues signing on to their NordVPN. Um, you know, there's a couple of general troubleshooting tips we generally go through when we have issues with devices or apps when it comes to our streaming devices, right? Um, the first one being, you know, restart your internet and your device. You unplug the power, wait about two minutes, plug it back in. Um, if this still doesn't work, then you can try a couple different steps. Now you can try turning off any VPNs that you currently have or any ad blockers or stuff like that. Um, you could try uninstalling, changing players. There's a bunch of things that we've gone over in different um, troubleshooting live streams as well as videos. But today specifically, I'm going to show you what's going on with the single sign-on and NordVPN. So let's get right into it, guys. All right, so you can see we've launched our NordVPN application. And we've gone over to click on login. And it says fail to open the page. Um, now you can try a bunch of different things. You could go to your home screen. Um, you can go over to settings, applications. I know a lot of people will probably already try this, but you go to your manage install applications, go down to NordVPN. Oh, I passed it. And then, you know, you can clear your cache, clear your data. Uh, you can force stop it and then launch it and a lot of people are still having this issue So I'll show you guys what the actual issue is that I've come across and how I fixed it So if we go over to login after I've done all that we'll say fail to open the browser comes up for the single sign-on to give you the information But then it immediately closes. So what's actually going on on this device? Um, which is happening on several other people's devices is the ad blocker is actually blocking the website that it's going to. So what you need to do is we're going to back out of Nord. Um, we're going to force stop it as well. So just make sure that it's cleared and it's not running in the background. And we're going to go down to our DNS changer Lily. Now, if you guys watched my last video on NordVPN, I did mention that NordVPN has the ability to run an ad blocker as well as you can put AdGuard's DNS into it. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it in the top right of this video right now. So you don't necessarily need another ad blocker on the device. And, you know, a VPN and a DNS changer or an ad blocker can conflict on your device anyways. So you have two options. Um, generally, your devices will be running an ad blocker. If you have this issue, you can hold down the home button, uh, go to apps, find whatever ad blocker you're running. If you don't know if you're running one, um, you can go through all of your apps and try to find it. This device is running DNS changer Lily. Um, you can see it's running right here. It's connected. So right here, I can either go all the way to the bottom and click on disconnect. Or because I know NordVPN has an ad blocker called CyberSec Security, or I can put the AdGuard DNS right into the actual program, I can click here and uninstall DNS Changer Lily. You can uninstall whatever ad blocker you're using, right? Um, and that generally will fix that issue. So now if we go over to NordVPN, and we go over to login. You can see we're no longer having this issue. It's giving us the single sign-on website with the information that you would go over from your phone or your desktop computer and type in nordaccount.com slash remote and enter whatever information you have there to enable the sign-on to your actual account so that you can use the VPN and get full access to all of the fantastic features that it has to offer. I really do hope that this troubleshooting method uh, fixed any issues that you guys are having uh, when trying to sign into NordVPN, um, or even when you're trying to use certain applications and you realize that maybe a feature is being blocked or something's being blocked, try you know restarting everything um, and then turn off any uh, VPNs or ad blockers that you have. See if you're having the same issue. Um, see if anything's conflicting, stuff like that. So let me know if this has helped you in any way. It's been Mark from Next Level Tech, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Hey everybody, uh, just before we get going, I wanted to say a huge thank you, much love and appreciation to everyone who supports what I do over here on Next Level Tech. Make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button and share these videos with a family member and friend.